hello and welcome back to the channel on today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you how to draft a simple mono strap corset so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so let's dive right into today's video so here is my pattern and i've marked all the basic measurement which includes my shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust and shoulder to waistline Next, I'm going to go ahead to mark my shoulder divided by 2 because this dress has a sleeve, I will add half inch to it. Making it 14 divided by 2, I have 7 plus half, making it 7 and a half. So I will mark and go down by 1 inch. After doing that, I'll come up at this part and I'll be measuring the neckline. So now this is a total neckline. So I won't be using exactly 3 inches. I'll use about 2.7 inches at the neckline now i'll go down by two and a half inches just because this is a total neckline and we are working according to what we have at the thumbnail of this particular pattern now i'll place my ruler and i'm going to go ahead to mark now i'll go ahead and outline the neckline after i'm done outlining that i'll place my ruler and i'm going to connect down to the shoulder at that point the next step is to find your chest line which is your bust side conference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches so mine is 7 inches and i'm going to place this at this point and i'm going to rule connecting a straight line after i'm done connecting what i'm going to do is to go ahead to mark out that my chest line and i'll just measure what i have at this point and i'm going to mark and connect so the reason why i'm remeasuring that is to make sure that i have a straight line at this point so after ruling out at this line the next thing is to go ahead to divide my armhole into two now i'll fold my tape mark and i will come out by half inch after doing that i'm going to mark my bust side conference divided by four and i'll go ahead to mark and connect it after i'm done connecting at this point the next step i'm going to take is to go ahead and i will use my marker to go ahead to outline it and i will be marking my nipple to nipple divided by two my nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two i have 3.5 inches so i'll go ahead and connect drawing a straight line at this point i'll go ahead and divide what i have at the shoulder into two this will be serving as a guide when i'm drawing out the upper side of the cup now i'll place my ruler and i'll go ahead to connect after i'm done connecting this i'm going to be marking my dart intake of one inch at both sides for a plot size go ahead and mark 1.5 inches at the both sides and i'm going to go ahead to connect after i'm done connecting i'm going to place my curve rule and i'm going to connect from the under bust to the bust and then go ahead to connect from this part also just like i did at the other point so now i'm just going to go ahead to outline it to make my pattern more visible for you to see so after i'm done outlining the next step is to go up by two inches from my chest line you can also go up by 1.5 inches it totally depends on you now i'm going to rule a line at that point that will serve as a guide and i'll be marking my dart intake of one inch at both sides for a plus size go ahead and mark 1.5 or more inches so now i'm just going to go ahead to connect from that point down to my bust line and i'm going to repeat the same process on this side also so after i'm done connecting on this other side so i'm going to go ahead to mark my measurements now i'll be marking the bust side conference divided by four measure this dart intake i have on top and i'll go ahead to replace it and add my sewing allowance at the under bust i'm going to mark the under bust side conference divided by four measure the dart intake replace and add my sewing allowance now on the waistline i'm going to mark the waist side conference divided by four measure the dart intake replace and i will add my sewing allowance so after this i'm going to go ahead to use my curve rule and i'm going to connect my pattern from the chest line down to the under bust and to the waistline so the next step i'm going to take now is to go ahead to cut out this pattern 
So at this point, if you find my tutorial very interesting and educative, please hit on the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting my channel. So now I'm going to open up my pattern and whatever that you marked on this part, go ahead and remark on the other part. So this is what I have. Now we're going to move over to altering the pattern to get the desired shape we want. So at the center of my pattern, I'm going to rule a line that is the line we have at that point if you fold your pattern you're going to see that line so now i'll be marking 0 0.6 inches away from the center i won't be using 0 0.5 so after marking that i'll just go ahead and mark a little from that point looking at the thumbnail that is exactly what we have there so from the second line i made i'm going to place my french curve and I'm going to connect from that point down to my under bust. After I'm done connecting, I'll go over and place the second line and I will draw out. When looking at the thumbnail, you find out there's a double stitch at that point. From the under bust, I'm going to come up by one inch because we have like a sharp mark on that point. So I'm going to come up this way so that I'll create that sharp point. And from there, I'm going to connect it to the upper part of my pattern. So after that, I'm going to go ahead to use my freehand sketch to draw out the shape we have at that point. So after drawing that, we'll go ahead to draw out the deep neckline that we have on the pattern of this dress. Now, I'll be using my French curve or my ruler to draw it out. But if you can make use of your freehand sketch, go ahead to do that. So watch me while I do that and make sure that the deep neckline comes down after your under bust. I'll go ahead and place my French curve and I'm going to connect down to the upper part this way. And I'll go ahead to connect my curve at this point. So after connecting that, we want to start working on the sides of the curve. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead to use my marker to outline some parts of this pattern. Now, to work on this part, I'm going to divide what I have between my armhole and my bust side conference into two. So, after marking that, I'm going to go ahead to place my French curve. I'm going to connect from that point down to my under bust. And I'm going to connect also at the other side of this pattern. So, I'm going to go ahead and outline this point and that is where the deep neckline yoke we have on this pattern so before continuing to draw my cup i'm going to go ahead and place my ruler this way and stop about one inch and then connect it back to the cup so on this point since there's no mark on this point because we used the other point to outline the chest line area of this pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure what i have starting from my cup at this point down to the other side of the cup so i have 3.6 inches and i'm going to go ahead to mark so yours might be different from mine go ahead to measure yours and also mark place your french curve and go ahead to connect and after that i'll go ahead and connect my cup exactly the same way i have on the other side of my pattern so this is what my cup looks like at this point i'll go ahead and i'm going to use my marker and i will outline my cup at this part and the other parts of this corset and i'll go ahead to blend in the yoke and label my cup so after this i'm just going to go ahead to cut out my pattern so if you find this video very interesting and you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please hit on the subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i also have a second youtube channel which is draft with Maki, where i put up drafting tutorials also you can go ahead to check that out so after i'm done cutting out my pattern this is what i have for this part now we'll be moving over to the back and for the back pattern i've gone ahead to mark out all the basic measurements for the neckline i used the same width and then for the depth i used two inches so now the next step we're going to take from here is to go ahead to mark our nipple to nipple divided by two after i'm done marking that i'm going to go ahead and i will rule a straight line at that point so after ruling a straight line to connect 
The next step you're going to take is to mark your dart. And to mark my dart, I'm going to be marking about half inch at both sides of the waistline and I'm going to connect it upwards. So I'll go ahead and use my marker and I'm going to outline all these patterns to make it more visible for you to see. After I'm done outlining, the next step I want to take is to go ahead and impute the measurement. I'll mark the bust circumference divided by 4. Since there's no that, I'll mark the sewing allowance. At the under bust, I will be marking the under bust circumference divided by 4. Or you can just go ahead to leave it out since there's no bust at the back pattern. But you can still use the measurement you have in front. And I'm going to measure the dart intake replace it and mark my sewing allowance at the waist i'll mark the waist circumference divided by four measure the dart intake i have which is one inch and i'm going to replace it after replacing it i'll mark the sewing allowance after marking that i'll go ahead and place my french cuff connect from the chest line to the bust today on that bust and i'm going to go ahead to connect down to the waistline so after this i'm just going to go ahead to cut out this part of my pattern so also go ahead to trace or cut out your pattern and after cutting out your pattern make sure that what you have on this side you retrace it also on the other side so after now the next step i'm going to take is to go ahead to mark out the lacing bar area of this pattern and i will be marking 1.5 inches you can make use of 2 inches or you can create a slanted design on this it totally depends on what you want at the back of your corset so now after marking it out i'm just going to rule out the line to make it more visible and after doing this i'll go ahead to repeat the same process at the back of this pattern now i'll open up my pattern this way and i will retrace the dots that i have on this side also on the other side so after that we'll cut out the neckline of the back so while i was cutting the back the camera of my phone went off but i'll be doing an explanation of how to achieve that so right for the back pattern i went ahead to cut out that lacing bar that we have at the back of this pattern so if you cut it this is for this side and this is for the other side i went ahead to cut it out at the center so now i marked out the chest line of this area of this and after marking the chest line i went ahead to connect it to the neck and i connected it down to this part of the chest line and after connecting it i notched where the yoke stopped and taking it out this is how the back looks like this is more like a mono strap back so with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and see you in our next video thanks